what's up you guys welcome to the house so we are on day two of these puppies all right y'all so <clears throat> whoops um so we made it to day two i'm currently feeding them right now um and yeah i mean it's pretty much gonna be the same thing for about two three four days so yeah this is pretty exciting they all survived the night i just finished the first set of puppies feeding so now the second set of puppies are feeding but yeah look at the puppies so yeah now it's time to stimulate them and yeah can't wait All right, you guys, so the next thing that we're actually about to do is get some pictures of the puppies with my camera, um, just so they can have a few newborn pictures so I can post them and my family and stuff can share that they are, you know, they're not ready to go, but you know, just to have some pictures to share and send to everybody because everybody wants to know what all the puppies look like and what's their names and yada, yada, yada. So, I'm gonna take some pictures and yeah. Now we're just sliding down. Wow, why are we doing this? I have to do that. I have to do this after y'all eat or something. Cause, oh my God, putting them on there. This was, this was a very bad idea. <laughs> Good morning. Today is day four. I took my little nap. I just took Ava outside to the bathroom. The time is 7.20, time for her to feed her puppies. And I'm just tired. Move. Come on. Lay down. Lay down. Don't lay down right there. Why do you always lay right there? No, no, no. Don't let them just yet. Damn, they smell you, Ava. They know you're here. They know you're here.
So as you can see, this puppy is much, much bigger, five days old than this one. And you would think like, oh, that's the runt. I have a smaller puppy here, same size as this one, right? Those two. This one is also very small. Oh, I need to fix that thing. This one's also very small. But there's a problem with this one. If you look at his legs, if you look at his legs, you can see that they are like, why is it blurry? Focus. They pretty much look like they don't work. If you look at their legs, they have a little bit of muscle, a little bit of meat on them compared to his. So, I figured he's the one that's probably just struggling a little bit more. <clears throat> so today, I made him a bottle with milk replacer and cholesterol. Cholesterol? Cholesterol? Cholesterol. 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 And, you know, I put the little water in there, shook it up, and gave it to him. He drank maybe half of this amount and he started like screaming and i'm like oh my god like what's going on so i pretty much had to get one of these suck <laughs> enough of whatever um but nothing was coming out of this and then he threw up all of the milk replacer on me and I literally just like wiped myself off. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just keep letting him suckle on the nipple without getting the extra help because I don't want any of the puppies to die. Like, yes, it's a 14 litter, 14 puppy litter. This is a very, very big litter. Um, but. Um, but it's like, it's a lot of puppies, yes, but at the same time, I don't want any of my puppies to die. But yeah, guys, that was a little update for day five <clears throat> and what's going on with the puppies. Today is weighing day, so I'll be weighing all the puppies today and see how much they'll be starting to grow within the next few weeks. So, yeah, so after they all eat and get uh, stimulated, I will be weighing them, and yeah. All right, y'all, so we are on day six. It is 1.40 in the morning. I'm tired. This is just a lot. 14 puppies. And this is a lot. If it was like five or six, like, I think I'd be straight. But being in the house for six days, and watching these puppies, making sure they're eating, stimulating them. Ava's, I mean, Ava not doing shit. <laughs> so. It's just a lot. I don't know. Like the first two, three days is cool. But now it's just like, it's just stressful. And then putting the puppies in sections because there's so many of them. I have to put the other group in the box like this. And there's some over here <coughs> so they don't eat 
because I have the littlest puppies going first. <coughs> but, yeah, it's just, it's just a lot. And then I'm doing other stuff. We're trying to do other stuff and I can't because I'm just tired. I just want them to hurry up and be three, four weeks so I could just feed them mush and get Ava back to normal because she's so skinny. Like super duper skinny. And it takes her a while to get weight back on her, so. But yeah, if you guys are interested in a puppy, <laughs> DM Madhouse Kittles. Um, yeah and I'll be happy to help you and let you know and keep you updated <coughs> on a puppy you know alright y'all so we are currently on day 7 it is 2.30 in the morning day 7 um I have to take Ava to the vet um, as soon as they open because she has a mastitis. Um, pretty much when a boob is producing <coughs> milk, but they're not using it. So, which is so weird because I have so many puppies and they get on every nipple. So, I don't know how she got it. Hey, 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 cut it out. Lay down, get back. Um, but it's like super big, like so where it's like splitting open. And I didn't realize it till yesterday when I took her outside and I'm like, what the hell is that? And I squeezed it and it was like pink stuff coming out and then pus was coming out and then I just kept squeezing it until it was just the milk. Hey, if you put your arm down. But, yeah. And then, I still have some puppies who are super duper small, like, <coughs> tiny. So, and I actually can show you. So, these guys are my tiniest puppies. Um, this one is, like, super tiny. This one is super tiny. You can see bones, like, these guys are just really small. These are two males and then these are two females but as you can see these guys over here are very big very full and then these four um not this one she's kind of doing she's doing better than they are for sure and then he's nice and fat um these two are pretty much okay but this girl this girl this boy you see how small his body is compared to them like look at them very very weak um it's so weird because i keep them on the nipple longer than these puppies <coughs> and they're just tiny but pretty much when she got up to get out of the whelping box, it was like some shit just spewed out from her and got all over the wall. And I'm like, maybe that was from her ass. I mean, maybe that was from her uh, coochie because, you know, the afterbirth, you know, when they bleed and stuff like that. So I didn't think anything of it, but it bothered me because it came out. It, it, it was almost like something popped. And then when I looked at the blanket, I'm like, well, there was like pink stuff right there. And I'm like, well, that's not where her coochie was. So I went up to her. I laid her down on the ground right here. And she popped her mass titties. Mass titties. And I can't take her to the vet right now because it's three in the morning. And so pretty much I just pushed everything out like everything 
it's disgusting because it was like a blob of this pink stuff and then it was like blood was coming out it was just so gross like it almost looked like you ever drink fruit punch and then you throw up everything and then all your throw up just look pink that's pretty much how it looks and milk is still coming out i don't know where the cut is where it popped open because i don't know i just honestly i just don't know it looks like it's not bleeding anymore i've been putting like pressure on it but i'm not ugh, i'm not a hundred percent sure I tried to put her in her case so she could lay down, but when she got up, blood started dripping out. So, I think it's all out of her. If she had a mask, whatever the hell that she called, I would have never known because these are big, these are big, and you know, her boobs are big. And I probably was just thinking like, oh, that's normal, but today when I saw that it was purple i was like okay that's weird it's purple but then i was like dang it was like getting bigger and bigger by the by like today because i was like hmm it's purple so i squeezed it earlier today and pink stuff was coming out and then the pus was coming out so i was like okay like obviously this needs to get checked out then that's when she had got this um little red um mark and I was like, okay, that's weird because I wasn't there earlier. And then she popped her own mastitis. So, and blood was all over the wall. So, it's kind of just like, hey, you okay? You all right? You okay? Can you shake? Okay, you're still awake. Cool. Don't die on me. Cause I'm gonna have to just die myself. Don't do that. Don't die on me. But this is like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Um. So because Labor Day. Oh shit. So because Labor Day is here, pretty much the um the vet office is closed. Um. So Ava has to wait until tomorrow. I've just been keeping it clean been keeping like a warm towel on it and you know massaging it and stuff like that so just in case like it doesn't spread to the other nipples um but pretty much i'm in here looking at the puppies and i don't think the orange puppy gemini is gonna make it um sadly just because one he's so weak and then his eye when I came in here, you know, all the puppies were on top of each other, which is pretty normal, but he's never really at the bottom. I don't know if this is because of that or if he got pushed or scratched or what, but pretty much his eye is just like super swollen. Um, and he is one of the weakest puppies. Um, I don't think he's going to make it. Um, I tried to keep it a little cooler here because I did kind of have it hot, too hot. Um, but they pretty much know to like spread out and stuff like that, which they typically do. But, <clears throat> um, I turned the heat down, but yeah, I don't know if he's going to make it. Um, he doesn't really eat as much. He doesn't drink as much. Um, when the vet opens tomorrow, if he is still alive, I am going to take him to the vet along with the four other puppies that are pretty small, just to get them like fluids in their system. Um, and just see what I can do because um, I don't want to lose any puppy um, but that one is just like really really bad I checked you know all the other puppies out they seem pretty normal and fine um, he's really just the only one that just might not make it just because he doesn't eat as much he doesn't drink as much I mean eat drink is the same thing he doesn't pretty much he doesn't nurse like the other puppies do and he doesn't um damn this puppy got big hold on look at this big old puppy i'm sorry but you see how big he is compared to dang you got really big oh my gosh you're as, almost as big as another puppy that i was thinking about keeping i might keep you you're kind of big 
but um yeah so these are our four biggest actually these are all the biggest puppies that's the only female that's big um everybody else is she's smaller than all of them but she's the biggest female and then over here like you see how small and slimmer these guys are not necessarily him or her but he's definitely laying on top of another puppy that's pretty much what they do and then these guys they never lay on any other puppy they always like spread out into the whelping box um and then i have this one over here this is who are you who are you are you a girl you are you're my little white girl actually no you're not you're my pink girl i mean my light my lilac purple girl that's who you are so this one is aries this is the one i was thinking about keeping even though she's a she wasn't as small before i think i can get her weight back up um this is the white collared female i think this is libra um this is sagittarius he's getting pretty slim he was their size and then he slimmed down so we're gonna fix that um and then this one is i forgot her name but i know this one right here is virgo this one is pisces that's her name and then this one is twin and then this is gemini the one with the eyes see you can see his eyes swollen right here compared to the other side so yeah and he's breathing but it's like very very slow What's up, y'all? So I ended up taking Ava to the vet um, to get medication for her uh, mastitis because it did pop. They gave her two shots of some antibiotics and then they gave me some pills for it. Um, I also took some of the puppies who were severely skinny and who I thought weren't gonna make it. They also gave them some um, antibiotics and um, some fluids in their system. Um, I have this stethoscope in my hand because um, on the way here, one of the puppies didn't make it. Um, I don't want to show y'all for YouTube purposes, but I will, you know, pop his little head in. But he was the one that I was worried about um, not making it. Um, they gave him fluids. They gave him antibiotics. They gave him, you know, everything the same as the other puppies. The other ones are doing perfectly fine, but he just, he was just too weak and it was too late. I just feel so bad because Ava is like crying. I think she knew that this puppy was gonna go because she kept licking him at the vet office. So, yeah. But yeah, I will keep you guys updated. But this is, we're on, this was day seven. Yeah, they, they finally hit one week. So, yeah. So we will just end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. It was a very sad ending on this video, but yeah this one just didn't make it so thank y'all